Good morning, Hero Hair clients. It's Travis, your humble, uh, I always want to say humble administrator, but humble creative director and co-founder of Hero Hair. You guys know who I am, uh, but I feel it's always important to maintain professional decorum when I address you guys or when I address anybody who's watching anything that we do. There's a saying, it's all in service of the brand. Um, and that encompasses what our brand is, which is to be highly personal, uh, highly caretaking, and highly involved in each of your journeys as clients. There's your opening. So uh, it's 5.35 a.m. It's October, uh, excuse me, <laughs> November 6th, 2018. This is going to be probably about a 10 minute video. I think that's, I think that's what we're going to clock in at. Let's try and keep it that, you know, I can go on and I can talk about things for a long time if I'm not careful. So we'll just get right into it. Um, I have a few things on my phone that I want to talk to you guys about. And if you'll bear with me, um, I'll give you the, the rundown now so you know what's coming in the video so you don't have to kind of sit through everything uh, as I go through it. So there are five topics. And this sit down was a long time coming, to be really honest. And, and as we get into the video, you guys will know why a little bit. You already kind of know why. Um, we're always busy. We're always working. Uh, you know, we, we, Hero Hair is, is, you know, I often say this, it's our baby. It's our child, Aaron and my, myself. Um, and even while Aaron is on set, which she is Monday through Friday, and the reason that I get up this early is because she gets up this early. I mean, she's been gone an hour already to get to set. Sometimes she gets up at 3.45. When Aaron gets up at 3.45, I get up at 3.45. Uh, because I feel it's important that while she is out there basically earning the bread to keep this all going, I do my support as my full-time job as the administrator of Hero Hair. Uh, so here are the topics for this video. And this, this video is an effort uh, to kind of take hold of where we are right now with you guys as a company after getting through our biggest year to date and our biggest exhibitions to date and our largest workload to date that frankly we really had to catch our breath on. That's, that's the honest truth. Uh, so let me go through the topics really quick as we're already at 244. Might be a 15 minute video. So bear with me, you'll understand what these are when I get to them. Uh, number one on the list is our uh, dear client, our dear friend, our dear uh, cover model, Miss Sarah Nielsen. Uh, and this is specific to the client group. I'm not posting this anywhere else. Uh, but I'm going to be setting up a GoFundMe for her for her recent uh, heart surgery. If you didn't know, she just had heart surgery. I'll get into that in a little bit and how you guys can help. Uh, topic two is going to be client photos. Client photos. Uh, all outstanding client photos. I'll have an update for you in just a minute. And uh, topic number three is Client Feature Friday. I'll get into that as well. Topic number four, Monthly Client Video Newsletter. Here it is. Uh, here's the first of them. And number five is Simply Thank Yous to all you guys. So that's, that's what we're going to get into right now. Let's just jump right into it. <clears throat> and if you guys have any questions or if you have any comments, um, we'll you know, obviously answer them uh, as best we can. And we're going to be more meticulous about we being I and you know we're pretty good but I'd like to get a, a stronger a stronger presence for you guys here on the group so that's something that's coming as well but let's get right into it Sarah uh, Sarah Nielsen um, you all know her you all love her uh, we love her uh, Sarah if, if you didn't know was the very first cosplayer that Aaron and I met at New York Comic Con 2014 in our very first outing under our banner, it was a guerrilla exhibition. It was Aaron and myself in two wigs, uh, our first two wigs that we built uh, as kind of representative of the company that wasn't more client wig. Our actual first client wig was Cosplay Chris out in Australia. And so these would be the second and third wigs that we built for Hero Hair. And you know, I wore my wig forever. Uh, I've kind of retired that character. But Sarah, uh, was all, she wasn't only the first person that we met and the first cosplayer that we actually interacted with when we, when we walked onto the stage that was New York Comic Con, totally unprepared for 
um, the reactions, which were really positive to us. Uh, I mean, I think it was 15 minutes before we could get into the door. Um, Sarah was the first person who actually approached us, and she was working a booth. We happened to buy this booth, um, and she's, you know, she said, "You guys look amazing." You know, I mean, she she just came up, and she was so. If you if you know Sarah, you know how she is. Um, she is sweet as honey and without ego, um, without pretense. She is, she is always, you know, always a smile on her face. Um, you know, and, and she'll, she'll captivate you by talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you know, uh, just an, uh, just an incredibly endearing soul as you all are. Uh, and if I had, if I had a million, moments I could I could go into a million things about each of you uh, and so could Aaron so she was the first one who approached us and actually engaged us and told us that basically we were okay we did it we did a good job because we didn't know I mean you know we spent months and months preparing for that and uh, you know I spent four months getting the costume together and, and Aaron had her costume made by uh, Leonard Augustine Cho a very good friend and designer of ours of ours who was on the uh, New York City Ballet for a while we wanted to really make a good impression and really crown our cosplays and really go out and we were scared to death. I mean, we were, I was up all night distressing my jacket and we walked in and, and, and you know, we, we ran into this beautiful person. And <clears throat> she, as many clients do after we meet them, or as many cosplayers do as we meet them, ended up becoming uh, part of the Hero Hair family. And, and Sarah was somebody she was one of two that we wanted to invest in as a cover model uh, because her cosplays were so authentically, you know, shot for. I mean, she, she you know, like all cosplayers, she, has, she hasn't had a vision and, and we wanted to, A, give back to, to her for being that first person who approached us and, and B also get her involved in the company because she kind of represents what we're about, which is egoless, um, pretenseless uh, uh, demonstrations of illusion and, and all the things that we do this for and look on the people's faces and, and cosplay. Um, but she really touched our hearts and she, can, she continues to do so. Um, Really, it's just it's just an incredibly fortunate situation for us to be in, involved in her orbit. Uh, so it's been many years, and, and you know she's you know she's all over the website, and, and you know we call you know, her her nickname is Finger Guns because <laughs> Finger Guns, which I actually think is really cool, and I think she does too. And we tease her about it a little bit, um, and and she puts up with my my shenanigans uh, more so than she should, and and I think she knows I appreciate it. But uh, to get to the point, Sarah uh, recently had heart surgery. Uh, to fix, uh, I believe it was a murmur, um, but she, Sarah had a, a minor stroke and, and she's in, I've, I've gotten permission for her to do this. Uh, uh, and quietly, you know, she doesn't ask for anything. This was, this was kind of my, you know, the first time I heard about this, I, I, I talked to Aaron and I said, you know, this girl's expenses are going to be through the roof. And, and to be frank and to be fair and without divulging too much, you know, Sarah has some insurance and she got the surgery, you know, thank goodness. But like everything else in America, every, you know, a pill can cost three hundred dollars. I mean, or or more. Um, in some in some cases that I'm sure you guys have read about on the news. So I I thought while while she she got the surgery covered, you know, she's on she's on blood thinners now and and, and medications, and I thought it would be a really nice thing to do uh, to set up a, just. A, a really basic GoFundMe for her, which I'm going to be doing. Um, I wanted to do it Monday, but I'm mired in company legal drafts right now uh, because that's what happens with a growing company, um, which is part and parcel to why I'm doing this video. Um, so uh, I'm, a, I'm a few days behind on the eight ball. She had her surgery last week. Uh, so tomorrow is, uh, the, what is Wednesday. Um, I'm going to spend my morning tomorrow setting it up and I'm going to post the link here on the client Facebook page. And if you guys, uh, you know, don't, don't go crazy. Um, you know, we're trying to keep this as private as we can because it, you know, it, it's, it's a vulnerable place to be. And, and especially with somebody who doesn't ask for anything, um, and somebody who 
would give the shirt off her back to somebody else. But, you know, it would be nice for if, if you guys can throw down, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks um, and don't feel obligated. I'm just throwing it out here. But or, or if you have friends or family who are who are supportive of your cosplays and, and you know, you might go, hey, we have this member of our group of our, of our client group of hero hair and she just had heart surgery. And, and we're just trying to kind of we're just trying to kind of shore up her, you know, her medical expenses post surgery. Uh, just to take a little of the heat off of her so, you know, the girl can get a cup of tea or, you know, or, or, or not really worry about it um, as much as she would need to. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Please watch for the link uh, for Sarah's GoFundMe tomorrow. And if you can make a donation or if you, if you know somebody who feels like making a donation, I know she would really appreciate it. Okay, that's topic number one. And it only took 10 minutes. It's going to be a long video, kids. I'm sorry. But this is really important stuff. All right, client photos from Dragon Con and New York Comic Con. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Um, you all know the stops that we try to pull out when we do an exhibition, especially when it's with you guys, when we're crewing you guys, um, when we're putting on your wigs at multiple locations to get you ready for con at the booth. And yes, I mean, it's a win-win because we get to show off what we do, but more importantly, we get to showcase what you do. Uh, and you know, showcasing you as cosplayers and clients is, is our first and, and foremost responsibility that we take on. And you know, we set up the photo shoots for you when we can, and it's becoming more regular a situation because we have photographers now who we really like to work with, who we trust, who are, you know, they have a beautiful lens and a beautiful eye. And uh, we're in a really good state with that. <clears throat> uh, but we also now have a lot of clients, and Hero Hair has grown exponentially in the last year. We've grown fourfold. Um, so we have a lot more content to get through now. And it's only me doing the edits. And, you know, when we do photo shoots, I always request that the photographer send me the edits so I can do control and do lighting and color management and, and make those photos look as pristine as I can. Uh, and the, the photographers that we work for are very gracious to let me do that. What does that mean for you guys? Well, it's, it's a catch-22 because you get really gorgeous imagery for your portfolios. But especially in the last two months... Uh, three months really it, it we've gotten really backed up because of our, our growth because of uh, changes within the industry because of, of us starting to work more in feature film and television now and the fact that it's always been at the end of the day me and Aaron manning all this manning this helm uh, with the support of our incredible staff that we've some that we've worked with uh, for for years some that Aaron's worked with for decades who who are satellite team members, you know, who work on films, hi Aaron, who work on films uh, and, and television shows every day of the week. We all have our day jobs. Even though Hero Hair is full-time for me, it's also full-time for Aaron. Yes, Aaron, I drank the orange thing. I'm sick. Um, and that's, that's prima facie. I mean, Aaron texts me all day from set. She texts you guys all day from set. You know, we're, we're as involved as we possibly can be at all times with you. Uh, but we've also grown really rapidly. And as you know, Erin crewed everybody at DragonCon by herself. And there was a reason for that. We had a huge restructuring of the company with, uh, with staff. We went back to our original core staff uh, as a result of that, who have never left, but they've become more involved back into the company again as we kind of reached out and said, hey, we're at a point where we've really grown and we actually really need your expertise as professionals. Um, who know how to work in this business uh, and what's expected of it. Um, and they were gracious enough, that, as they always are, when we throw up the bat signal to come in. And, uh, and, they, are, and they are doing so. And we have, you know, we had to get uh, a couple of, of new uh, hands. And there are only so many people in this world who can ventilate on HD film lace. I think there's, I mean, probably less than, you know, reasonably like 20 or 25 people who could probably do it to the extent that it needs to be done. And because it's such a new technology, even in film, it's, it's, it's very new as a result of red cam and, and high definition 4k and all of that. So we had to get some real hard hitters. Uh, and, and we were fortunate enough to do that to start really shoring things up and, and take less of the heat off of Aaron who builds a lot of these wigs on her own. You know, when Aaron goes to set, to work on a movie or a television show when she is not on set, when she is in her trailer, she is working on your wigs. Uh, and if you didn't know that, know that now. The girl never stops. Um, 
I also do a lot of wig work and my wig work is becoming more uh, a regular part of this company and, uh, and you know, there are things that I am going to be in training for to, to lend my hand even more aside from just, you know, styling and, and overseeing the screen accuracy of everything. So, uh, all of these things that came to a head in the last few months really backed me up. Uh, and, uh, I want to thank you all for your patience because, and I've apologized to a couple of you. I've grabbed you when we were at DragonCon and I saw Shalane Demarest, one of our, our newer clients. And, and I, and I said, you know, we were there to crew another client and that's the other thing. We travel across the country quietly, you know, fastidiously, uh, a lot of the time to put wigs on people and, um, and really give them that movie star treatment experience when we're not bringing you guys into con with us or, or everybody gravitating towards the same con somewhere at an exhibition. So, uh, a lot of you have started to get your photos finally, and that's kind of why I'm coming up for air on that and, and, and thanking you for that. And they will be coming faster and faster and faster starting this week, uh, your full albums. Anybody who's waiting for your photos, and, and you know, here's the catch 22, and, and I know how it goes. So, so you get these amazing photos, but they're kind of post con, so the, the, the hot button is a little off in terms of, you know, everybody kind of posts their albums a week or two after while well, something right now it's, it's taking us like four weeks and sometimes longer to get them to you. And you know, there's something to be said for, for a flashback Friday or coming out. Uh, and I'm like this as well, you know, my photos, do, you know, I mean, my cosplay photos don't take precedence over yours. I, you know, I, I try to focus our rollouts on premieres and, um, and, and actual wig work. And then, you know, the odd photo from me or Aaron, when we're at a con in cosplay or what have you, uh, but I put a lot of attention into your rollouts as well and making sure these things are good for you. And I just wanted to apologize that it's taken so long and it won't be the going rate. This will not be happening further um, because we're finally, finally just getting caught up coming out of con, coming out of our, our company restructuring and new personnel and training and, and all of that kind of stuff for our studio. And uh, so as you guys get your albums, know that, that, they have been a labor of love and that further albums when we do this will be on a much tighter turnaround because a lot of the, a lot of the responsibilities that I have kind of manned on my end, you know, are now being done with assist. We have, we have Dan, who's our amazing uh, client relations liaison, who's taken over all of my email duties, which took sometimes five or eight, seven hours a day uh, just to do. So, Slowly but surely we got to speed and I just wanted to thank you guys. I mean, I really, really do. Uh, I, I know what it's like waiting for this stuff and you've all been so gracious and so kind and I just wanted to say I'm so sorry it took as long as it did, but I really hope you liked them because it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to make sure you guys looked your best. Okay. Three, on that note, it's a really good segue. Uh, we're going to be starting something, you know, there's a lot always going on behind the scenes at Hero Hair that we don't talk about until they come to fruition. Because we don't, we feel like, you know, it's like, oh, this is happening, this is happening. It's, it, we don't put the cart before the horse. We, until something is solidified, we don't talk about it. But there's always stuff going on that you don't know about, that you are not aware about as clients that will involve you. Um, and finding the right time and timing to discuss that is always, uh, it's always a crapshoot. It's, it's always, you know, where is the balance in that? When do we announce this? When do we announce that? And then we have to really quickly announce it and put something together because we're all about the showmanship. Um, again, everything is in service of the brand. So <clears throat> to that, uh, Aaron and I were talking um, recently about initiating a Feature Friday, a Hero Hair Client Feature Friday. Uh, we have a lot of clients, we have a lot of content, and you know, you know, I if you watch our feeds, I do share you guys, and I try to keep I try to keep it uh, in the lexicon of what's going on in the community and pop culture. You know, if there's a movie premiere and you guys are cosplaying that movie character, that's generally like, oh, I really need to share some of this. Uh, but Hero Hair's posts and shares by rote pretty much go works in progress, as you guys see, lead up to the final reveal of the work, and then either we're either at con with a client who happens to be in a wig and we'll, we'll post some control shots, nothing fancy as a teaser. And then I usually follow that up with photography of the wigs themselves. Uh, once we get them back from your premieres 
or before they go out the door. <coughs> Even photographing our wigs, I had to wait months to get wigs in the studio to photograph, not because you had them or were waiting or I was waiting on you guys, but because we were sending them so fast and, and so hard out. And we were at another location where I had to travel into the city and I didn't have access to it. And it was all about time management and you guys needed the wigs. So I, there were many wigs for months that I didn't even photograph. I had to wait to get back. And that's why I asked for you guys to let us have them after the last con so I could photograph everything. And you're seeing them come out now. So, uh, and then the editing and all that kind of stuff. So now that we're coming out of the, the compounding of all of those things happening at once and, and we're getting a good schedule under our belt for all this stuff, uh, we can look forward to actually scheduling some things that we wanted to do for quite a while. And Client Feature Friday is something that Erin wants to do and something that I agree with her on. So, and it's something regular that you guys can look forward to, a spotlight, you know? Uh, and that way everybody is in rotation and, and you know, it, you have to, you have to imagine if you, if you've premiered a wig at a con and we try to give everybody equal time and spotlight because every single wig that we do is as important as the last wig. There are no favorites in this, in this company. We fall apart and, and cry and, and gush over every wig that we see going every head that we, that we are fortunate enough to touch. And I want to make sure that that is front and center for you guys because A, it, it, it showcases our journey, B, it showcases your journey. Um, and also it, you know, it gets us a little bit of traffic. It gets you guys some traffic on your pages. I want to make sure to make an effort there, um, to really cross promote you guys a little harder. And it's been something that we've been talking about for quite a while and trying to figure out how to do that in, in a, in a, in a very real tangible way with, with immediate results. So all that being said, uh, this is what we'd like you to do. Um, contact, either contact Aaron or send an email. Um, it's probably best if you, if you actually send Aaron a text on this rather than post in the comments, your dates and schedules. Uh, but Aaron's going to put, every week, a client feature Friday in our story. So she would like to coordinate that with your cons, the cons coming up that you're going to be at so that we can feature you when those cons are happening. Uh, and rem remembering we have a lot of clients. I don't even know the number at this point. I think it's approaching something like 75 uh, and soon to be more because we have a lot of new clients coming in. Hey, new clients. If Excuse me, if you've just joined the page and there are some new ones, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and thanks for coming on. Uh, so send Aaron your three biggest cons of the year for the new season, because uh, the con season just ended. So whatever's coming up that you're looking forward to, send it to us now. So we can plan accordingly ahead and actually schedule it for those future Fridays. And that'll be once a week. I, on my end, because Instagram and Facebook are my babies, and then Twitter is the purview now of Black Crystal, one of our other first cover models and our dear friend and our dear client. She's now our social media director and, and uh, cosplay uh, culture consultant. Um, and if you don't know Black Crystal, go check her out. She's, she's just exploded in the last few years. She's worked so hard uh, in gaming and, 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 and branding and, and marketing and, and all stuff re revolving around cosplay. And she's amazing. She's, she's a real go-getter. Uh, and we couldn't be here, and we wouldn't be here without her, to be really honest with you. Um, and she knows that, because we tell her, uh, but not enough. Uh, so m she'll handle the Twitter on this, and she'll get everything, um, you know, basically cloned over from my end of the social media, which is Facebook and Instagram. On my end, I'm going to effort to do at least every two weeks a feature, a client feature Friday. Sometimes it'll be every Friday, but I'm going to try to keep it no less than two weeks. I want to do two features and you know, there'll be some retreads, uh, but not a whole lot. Uh, some of you have multiple cosplays. Some of you guys have multiple weeks from us and I'll showcase those. Um, and sometimes I'll showcase you guys, even if you're not wearing one of our wigs in one of your other amazing cosplays, you know, the fact that your clients kind of gives you the the perk of, of being featured because we are about the community and we are about what you do as artists. It's not it's not all about our wigs. Yes, we have we have a mission uh, and and you guys are on it. Um, but I just want to let you know that it's going to be sort of all encompassing. 
uh, to really start shining the spotlight on you on you more as artists because it's it's a hard fight to get out there and it's a hard one battle to to just get seen with algorithms and everything else being what it is online uh, and certainly in a positive light where you know it's safe where you know there's there's no agenda and and we just want to we just want to promote you so that's coming up um, and so please send that information to Aaron. That's really important. And we're going to start the Client Feature Fridays um, this, let's see, what is it? Not this week because we're still wrapping up a lot of stuff. Uh, but next week we're going to be in a really good spot to start implementing some of these, these new additions to our, our daily routine. So uh, you can expect not this Friday but the following Friday to see the first Client Feature Friday. And we'll figure out who that's going to be and... Uh, you'll know to look for it, and uh, and there you go. That's that's that topic. So, and these are the last two client monthly video newsletter. Here we are. Uh, I'm going to make an effort every month to come in here, and it's not going to be this long, hopefully, but we'll keep it under half an hour. It's good to watch over coffee, um, or something else that you like to drink. Uh, I'm going to make an effort every month to come in and just give you an update and say, hey, this is what's going on, or this is what happened at our last con, or this is the, you know, this is the con that we're planning on going to, or, you know, hey guys, it's, it's approaching awesome con, and, and have you guys checked your Airbnbs out yet? Where are you staying? This is where we're staying, and this is what, you know, I want to keep a, a, a more uh, resolute, open dialogue with you guys. I want you to know that we don't just kind of bop in and bop out and, and like a comment or like a thing. We're always looking at what you guys are doing, um, but we haven't had the chance as much as we'd like to, to really engage everything because we've been so swamped. So the restructuring of our humble studio to the point where it is now in this, in this cozy environment and, and, and things going really efficiently for, for, um, everything that we're doing, we're really being fastidious about scheduling and, and time management just for ourselves, just so we have a minute to take a, a coffee or, you know, a break on the battlefront or what have, you know, little gaming, stuff like that. I mean, there was a long time where we didn't even take breaks. If you watch Erin at the booth at New York Comic Con, you know she never left the booth, not even to pee. She literally didn't leave the booth all day. She didn't see any of that con, didn't even do a walk around. Uh, and that's, that's just what her jam is, you know, and, and my jam was to go and, and get food and stuff for her or to make the rounds and the cosplay with, with a client or, or what have you, or to talk to media. Uh, so trying to give that girl a little break here and there, uh, as well with the scheduling is something that's really important to me. Uh, so I wanted to let you guys know that. So expect every month me to come on and have the, the hero hair monthly client video newsletter. Uh, hopefully we'll be upgrading the cameras and we'll have some more background stuff in the studio to make it a bit more interesting <clears throat> rather than just one wig in the background. Uh, and that's coming too. And finally, uh, number five is, is thank yous. It's just thank yous. Um, you know, I made a post recently and it was for a very important reason because we, we, needed we're at a point we're, we're going into our fifth year and we have a lot of you guys who've been on with us for a long time now and and you know we needed to check in with you and see how we were doing and, and you've been incredibly gracious with your comments and, and i will be addressing those i haven't commented on anything yet because i'm still kind of going through them and i'm going to take the weekend to really read through everything and just kind of you know see what you guys had to say and aaron will as well It'll probably be our sunday um, I wanted to thank you for, for just engaging that post, you know, the, the how are we doing by the clients post. Uh, and if, you know, and, and please pen a, a little testimonial, good or bad, constructive or no. Um, we wanted to hear it all and it's all been very positive and, and we really appreciate that because you never know how you're doing until somebody tells you. You can, you can think about how you're doing, you can picture how you're doing, you can assume how you're doing. But oftentimes, you know, in this world, you can be quite mistaken thinking you're doing a, a right by somebody or a good job by somebody and, and somewhere something was missed or somewhere something was said that was misunderstood or, or you, you know, you don't feel that um, you're, you're appreciated or, and it was none of that. It was quite the opposite, um, which is what we were hoping for. And we do put a really honest effort in, in, you know, I, I always say taking care of you guys, but, but it's, it's really just, just, 
being in your orbits and respecting your orbits. I, and that's, that's kind of, it's kind of my general motif in, in life to function with people is, is trying my best to respect their orbits as somebody who has a very large presence and footprint, <clears throat> you know, as does Aaron, as do all of you, you know, we're all very dynamic people, um, with a lot of very intense lives. Um, I mean, gosh, you know, I, I don't get enough time to come in here and say, I, you, all of you amaze me for how much you have on your plate at any given time, real life, uh, situations and cosplay and passion projects and art and and everything that that goes in the, the small amount of time that we have on this planet to exist and, and make that footprint for posterity before you know the sun engulfs the earth nine billion years from now and that's kind of what how i see it all you know what i mean i mean you get one shot at this that we know of and it is important Everything is important. Everything that you do is important. Everything that, that people do is important. And I think that's sometimes lost in the fray. Uh, so I want to make sure to not lose that in the fray and to let you guys know how much we appreciate you in our lives. Clients be damned. Um, and that you find us engaging enough to grace us with your presence. And that is, that is the absolute truest way I can say it. We at, at no time do we not acknowledge between us, Aaron, myself, and, and our staff and our team privately. Um, it's, it's the topic of much conversation. Because at the end of the day, when we're done working, we're watching all of you guys and we're checking out what you're doing and, and just talking about it. Just going, my God, I mean, look at these kids. I mean, I'm sorry we call it to you, but I'm old. I've earned it. Um, you know? But I'm a kid myself, and I get it. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. I just wanted to say thank you. This is not about the money, and it's not about you know, it's not about the branding, and it's not. I mean, just thank you guys because uh, this is a whole other life for Aaron and I, both of us. You know, we had lives before Hero Hair, and they were pretty. They were pretty intense. I mean, I, I spent 25 years as a working artist in animation, and traveled the world, and 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 worked out of closets, literally worked out of closets in motel rooms in Hollywood in my youth or, you know, I mean, I've, I've, in case you didn't know about me, you know, I was a struggling, I was a very successful artist for a long time. And I was also a struggling artist for a long time because of the climate of, of the industry, because the climate of me living in another country under a visa where, where my, my jobs were, were beholden to my employers proving that I could do what nobody else in that country could to stay there. Um, and there were times when that didn't happen and I had to wait it out. And, you know, there were times when I've slept in a 1969 Chevy Chevelle in the dead of winter in Vancouver, British Columbia, eating, you know, eating a loaf of white bread out of the trunk or collecting berries on the path of Kitsilano beach to eat on the way home because I had no income and I had to wait for the next job and I couldn't just go out and work, you know what I mean? Rather than come home and try to just do it all here. And, uh, I've had those adventures I've, and, and I've had the adventures out in, you know, in, in the cradle of civilization. I, I was fortunate enough to go to places where I never thought I would be able to go to work and to experience. And Erin has had, Erin has worked her, her butt off her whole life. She, you know, she, you know, she got her degrees, she went to school, she trained and, and she did her apprenticeships and she put her dues in and it's why she is where she is today. So we know how it is to build a life and those lives change and hero hair is now our life and it 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 really is that important to us as individuals so i wanted to make sure you guys understood the gravity with which we we view all of you in our lives and we hope we're doing all right by your lives and if we aren't please tell us because that is not friendship, that's family. And it's okay. Communication is key. We don't know if there's something that we could be doing better unless you tell us. Please feel free to tell us because it's all we think about. Okay, that's it, 34 minutes. That was a long video. I still have to edit it a little bit. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and I will be speaking to you again soon. Have a great day, everybody. Go out and vote. Please, go out and vote. I don't know if it'll matter, but at least you make the effort.
All right. We love you. Bye-bye.